Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, what was it like before the Big Bang? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. The Big Bang Theory is the current most popular explanation for how the universe formed. Essentially, what began as a tiny, super-hot, super-dense structure called a singularity began rapidly expanding and cooling around 13.8 billion years ago, something it's still doing today. But the question remains, what the heck was going on before the Big Bang? Where did our universe come from? Um, am I high? I don't remember getting high. It's a question that can mess with your head, admittedly, but there are a few theories as to how it all works. We're all riding on the back of a giant space donkey, aren't we? Eh, whatever works for you. But as far as actual scientists are concerned, one of the more likely explanations is a theory called the Big Bounce. This suggests that our universe basically fell out of a previous universe that had collapsed in on itself so far that it essentially bounced back in the shape of our universe. It's entirely possible that this isn't the first time it's happened either, and that we're part of a long cycle of endlessly bouncing universes, like some kind of spectacular cosmic trampoline act. I'm sorry, I think a part of my brain just caught fire. If you can't quite wrap your head around it, don't feel bad. The big bounce theory doesn't actually even fit with our current understanding of physics. But then that's the way it goes with these things. Our best explanations of the way really big things like stars and planets work, general relativity, and our explanation of how really small things like electrons work, quantum mechanics, are pretty much fundamentally incompatible with each other. There's so much we still don't know, so physicists don't always play completely by the rules when trying to figure this stuff out. So, they're just cheating? No, they're just smart enough to think several billion light years outside the box. Talking of which, there's another theory as to where we came from that's known as the multiverse theory. This suggests that multiple universes are being constantly popped out by a larger parent universe. The idea is that right after the Big Bang, space expanded in every direction at a rate that puts the speed of light to shame. In extremely simplistic terms, there were some patches of space that bubbled up and became their own distinct smaller universes, each with their own different physical properties. It's entirely possible that we could be living in one of those. Well, that's awesome. Can we go visit these other universes? Mm, no, and we can't communicate with them either. The reason why is absurdly complicated and involves a lengthy explanation of quantum mechanics, but essentially, even taking a peek into one of these other universes would instantly cause it to cease to exist. My head now hurts in at least eight separate universes. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.